Hey, Sora. I'm a lesbian. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm a lesbian, too. Is there anyone on this island who likes men? My apologies. Yeah, like, it's, you know, it is kind of problematic, Ransom, that, like, we did try to unionize, and then you you called the Pinkertons on us. Can I? That was crazy. Can, can I say something that. about that? That video where, where, like, the one where halfway through that becomes the joke. Um, I think most people didn't get that far. It genuinely thought we were just posting a yaoi thing. <laughs> That's so funny. You're going to look for treasure in the Cave of Wonders, right? That means you'll be heading into the desert! That place is a bit too dangerous for my tests, but if it'll help her, get dressed! That is a shame, because I... Well, part with this lamp unless you can offer me a fortune. Why is he moving like that? You know, the, the kind say stored palaces are very good deserts. I was going to suggest that, like, the next video we do, the next milestone video we do, has, like, us most of us discussing about unionizing and how Ransom's been treating us, and then, like, the Pinkertons get called in. And, like, we <laughs> either get, like, threatened or shot or something. Carter, uh, why do you love the, the... Why do you <laughs> love the thought of y'all unionizing so much? Um, you wouldn't understand, boss. When you What? Yeah, I, <laughs> why, why would you not understand the Boss, loving, uh, you unionizing? Are you anti-union ransom? That's do you, not it. Just you... why do you think that's such a good punchline? I think it's funny that you don't understand. Yeah, I think it's funny <laughs> that you don't understand, Bezos. That's the punchline. <laughs> don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> do oh. not put that man's name in your mouth. Do not put I it think... in the same sentence as my name. I think the the, gim the gag in the next video should be you guys looking at the camera, man. You guys didn't finish the last video. You didn't even get to the yeah. joke. For shame. Well, like, but Baransom, you you have to you have to re like, it, it wasn't the greatest look when I was uh, editing that uh, cool games I played video, and I like needed really to go to video. the restroom, and you were like, no, keep editing, keep making the video, and wow. I had I had to. I had to make use of a bottle nearby, Ransom. You, you wow, don't see the parallels Ransom. here? Okay, first off, I gave you the bottle, so you could be thanking me for that, at least. Oh, yeah. he's got a point. But the, you made me Who pay are for you, it a afterwards, Musk stand? Ransom. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. It was, it was really funny. You should have seen your face. So, so how's MGS2 going for you so far, Carter? Are you enjoying it? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm also seeing where, like, other things have gotten big inspiration. I'll definitely have to talk about that on the next podcast episode, because I, I do have a lot of thoughts. I am, oh, just I'm also just, podcast. I am also just like, wow, it's, it's cool to actually play a stealth game in this <laughs> franchise. Yeah, no, it's crazy, right? You actually get to do stealthy things. But yeah, um, so I guess stick around in probably, I don't know, a few weeks for us covering Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, Snake returns and you play as him the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, that 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 one will probably be a lot better than the first one, because I just feel like we'll have so much more and more interesting things to say about it, you know? When are we going to do a Union Cross Let's Play for the channel? Shh. Dude, that's really funny, James. You're a funny guy. Well, it's especially funny because it's not possible. Uh... Isn't Dark, oh, didn't yeah, Dark Road like just get delisted or some shit? They didn't just shut it down. It just went offline. You can't, you, even, can't... you can't even get it anymore. Yeah. It is gone. I nice love modern they, like... gaming. Yeah. It'd be they, nice like... if they did a re-version of it. Like, um... I'm not even looking for a 3 one. Just and stuff. it. That would be cool, though. Honestly, I think the art and assets for that game are already pretty impressive, and I'm fine with the gameplay, it's not the pay-to-win stuff. Like, if they just literally made an offline version and ported it to Switch or something, and, like, Steam, I think that would be fine. 
I'd, I'd give it I'm a amazed shot. They haven't, I'm amazed they haven't done it already, to be honest. I'm a really big fan of Valor Form's uh, ability to go straight to a finisher. I think that's really fun. I'm a, yeah. I'm a big fan of everything Valor Form. It looks so cool. I'm not getting The fact that. that Sora holds weapons like that in Smash. I know. Makes me so oh, happy. wow. For free. Don't even have to exit the world. That's awesome. Well, free? For free? Yeah, no, I mean, that's how these save areas work. It's just like the final I've area I've only put of the seven game. hours into this game. Jesus Christ. You're the Game of Wonders is full of traps! You need to do more than just fight your way through! I bet we can find the treasure, the Cave of Wonders, to satisfy that power. The question is, will there be enough to satisfy me? Donald, why are you like this? Something bothers me about that look in Donald's eyes. <laughs> That's all he had. He didn't even have a second line of dialogue. <laughs> who put, you know, J who put Josh in here for a second? <laughs> did y'all see that? Yeah, it's probably Josh either did it on purpose or Casey pranking him. That's funny, though. Special guest. <laughs> um, I, so I really like having... Sorry. The Cave of Wonders is over there, where those sinister-looking clouds are. Oh, yeah. It's a dangerous place. We should be alright if we go together. I like that they can just see it from here. Go ahead. Yeah, that's like sinister, can, weird I like how you storm. can just see it from here. It's like when I look outside of my window and I see Ohio, like, yeah. just looming in the distance. That's the same for it's me, but Florida. Mm -hmm. Carter, what were you saying before that, before Aladdin so rudely interrupted you? Oh, I was, I was just going to lead into the Ohio joke. Oh. Well, now we have nothing. We're going into this thing's gullet again. That's crazy. I, Jesus, you know, sure hope we don't have to fight it again. Hit it in the that, eyes. That one Bitch. shot where it does the weird perspective thing one where it shot. looks like it's zooming through. I'd like to get a hold of that cutscene without, like, the locked camera and see what they do. Because, uh... Oh, you mean, like, on the carpet? Well, lucky for you, you're on the show boundary no. break where we take the camera pretty much anywhere we want to go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean the uh, that shot in the previous cutscene where the cat head kind of zooms in a little closer. Mm. Oh, gotcha. It's probably like a lens thing. Can they do that? I don't know. Something like that. I mean, I, I just know how much people I cheat. Like, I remember in the new uh, Leon Massey video, he like unlocks the camera for one of the stages. Uh -huh. And just the stage like moves with the characters as they fight. Oh, yeah. It looks no, really weird. Stuff. I That's interesting. Like that. Very, very interesting. Um, very cool. Although, for some Tekken games, the older ones, um, you don't need to unlock the camera for the stage to look like it's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that uh, new video, uh, Leon Massey, it's the, what is, what's it called? Tekken's Hype Train Crash or something like that? Hype Train Disaster. Yeah, that was like so that. fucking good. Y'all should go watch Leon Massey. That's a really good YouTube channel. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, he, I think that he is probably. He's one of the best, like, people who can, like, r talk really. Who can talk a ton about fighting games and make it, like, interesting for someone who is not really into the genre. Yeah, he doesn't only talk about fighting games, by the way, he, he, he has hey. other stuff. We gotta look at the ceiling here, too, by the way. Oh, we, well, uh, you know, we haven't been doing ceiling checks! Fuck! That's okay, I don't think we missed that... too much, but this room, sure. He put himself into that niche, and uh, he's not allowed to consider himself anything else What anymore. the fuck? Did you guys ever notice this? No, I never fucking knew this. What the hell? Yeah, because you don't freaking look at the ceilings. This is why you look They're at the ceilings. They're playing Tetris up there. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. So what are these statues supposed to be? Elephants? Maybe Elephant. uh, maybe the Cave of Wonders ate all of Russia. This might have been Perhaps. a mistake. I was gonna say the whole inside is different, but I don't think that's. Yeah, we the haven't we haven't like had a, a single a... Russian influenced world in Kingdom Hearts, you know. Uh, oh yeah, fuck had, me! We haven't had Anastasia yet, so. Uh, like Disney Disney does own Anastasia now. They didn't in the past, but they do now. So uh, they could do that. I'm can cooked. I'm uh, so cooked. Can we please get Anastasia in KH4 so we can have Sora fight Rasputin? <laughs> It's been so I, long since I watched that movie, I remember I, nothing I from it. I desperately want that. There's a lot I, of things I desperately want in Cage. Uh, please, 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 save point or something. Of course not, you probably have the whole, uh... Because ah. well, just think about it, you... You probably you had time a, to go back, but it's too late now. 
Wait, you start Res the minigame. Have Rasputin be like this boss fight that you have to fight so many times across the level, but he just will not die. Like, you knock him into the river, you throw, like, an axe at him, he gets, like, poisoned, just, like, there's nothing works, you keep having to fight him, he's like a Majima everywhere in that world. Yeah, <laughs> that... God. That'd be pretty good. You know, I wasn't huge on the idea of Inside Out World, but oh, then when it's uh, framed as... It could be a lesson f for Sora to learn that sadness and anger are also okay emotions to have. I'm like, awesome. damn, that sounds incredibly fucking necessary, actually. Also, I think what? they should just have, like, Riley or whatever, like, unconscious in, like, Traverse Town, and you go into her, you, like, dr you, like, drop into her dream, but, like, halfway through the drop, like, I don't know, like, it crashes and you fall into her emotional world, and it's like, oh, because the dreams aren't running because everything's all out of whack, you have to help the emotions fix that. Hey, qu why did a poo have to do with that? Who knows? Uh, because, duh. So, if they do that Inside Out world, I, I would love if just, like, afterwards, just immediately, like, a conversation with Roxas where he is just, like, so frustrated. It's just, I tr tried to tell you this lesson a thousand times now. I don't know why it took someone else to get you to know that. I think Roxas like, would actually have a lot of things to say to Sora. Yeah. God, I wish we could see that, but we're probably God, never going I to see that. God, God. They just skipped all that. Kingdom uh. Hearts has so fucking many characters now that I want to see more of. That Satchel must have gone to the treasure from the would-be loaders all these years! Anyway, don't forget that I'm here to help you, so as long as it's not too dangerous! Okay. I, uh... Thank you, Iago. God, I wish they didn't just skip that year. I hope we get, like... I mean, they could just fit a game in there, right? They could just have a game in that year where he plays Roxas or something. Because I would, I need more time with those characters. I need them to interact. It's, it's I don't even need the wacky so stuff. that they could do whatever they kind of want, really. Like, yeah, and let me be clear. I don't even need a like Roxas meets Ventus and they have like a whole game together or something. But like, I need like, you know, what did Roxas and Shion and Axel get up to after the Keyblade Graveyard? You know, what did you know? How'd all that happen? You know, I want Kingdom Hearts Warriors, and I want it to be in Twilight Town with the whole like Roxas gang, and like the story is only about them, and just you know, just a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, uh, will I get it? Will I get it? Ah. Uh, I I would like cool. to see an extended. Um, I also want a sequel to Recode it, ironically. I would like something about uh, the Twilight Town. Gang, or I guess the uh, like you know Roxa, Shion, Axel. The land. I'd, I'd like a game kind of exploring like I guess lingering issues and feelings oh, around that team. I do not just, want them to skip it and just put them into another freaking trial again. It's like oh no, yeah. we're in a new problem. Like you know, I I would really like if there was just like a whole game. Oh where Jesus! It's kind oh of, Jesus! Oh Jesus! Yeah. It's kind of going through like. <laughs> Yeah, things are, like, you know, we're all safe now, but, like, most of us still have some form of lingering, like, issues. Well, James, you really love that joke. Uh, I mean, no, it's a separate joke. The other joke is lingering Will Turner. Yeah, yeah. Lingering Will, because he said, see, that was, see, Ransom, here's how, the, see, that was a different joke. Um, hey. That was the joke there being that he said lingering, and then I... And then I continued with, well, you see, do you understand the, the funny? I have a question real out? quick. Yes. Is this the only Kingdom Hearts world that follows the plot of a direct-to-DVD sequel? Uh, I think, I think so. Because I'm I having think trouble so. thinking of it. I'm having trouble thinking of another one. Let me think. Fucking sure, I got the, I got the cash to spend. Uh, well, he no, went this whole time Christmas without world. Blizzard? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the Nightmare for Christmas world very clearly goes after the uh, Nightmare for Christmas 2, you know. Uh, coming out in 2025. Don't worry, guys. I saw a picture of that on Facebook. It's gotta be true. Judging by the look of these things, I'd say we're almost there! I just hope we can get them uh, we, <laughs> without any trouble! I Jesus farted. Christ. You know, like, Tim Burton is... The thing about Nightmare for Christmas 2 is just, just like... Tim Burton is one of those creators where it's like, I don't know if I want to hear from you more. Like, No, just get all the people who actually made that movie to make the sequel. Yeah. And just don't put his name on it. Because remember, he didn't have that much to do with that movie. 
I mean, I think he did with that movie, but like pretty uh, much nothing else he's worked on. And really, then he only really gave like the premise. I think I don't know how much he did beyond mm. that. You know, this room looks familiar. It's almost like there was a very similar looking one in a separate Let's Play just recently. I fucked up the timing. No. Uh. Okay. <laughs> huh? You guys haven't seen, but Ricky has. He's probably talking about Crash. I am. Where's Spyro? Where's his cameo? I remember a cameo here. Uh, you know. <laughs> Pete went in before us. How did he get behind us? That's a good question, actually. He got lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going. I hate my Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to do a skit of Pete and Maleficent talking and he's just like, I'm tired of this abuse. <laughs> oh, no. Monkey. Quick, James, think of an entire beginning of the episode skit right now um, make it funny um um um, um this song controversial take i think those two are just kind of like devoid of humor who i think the joke has run its course my love send pete the i think pete has plenty and, of uh potential they're they both have a lot of potential but the gag of like abuse evil lady you know and abusing the minion who's goofy i feel like, that they, they can keep repeating the same joke, but it, it doesn't become any funnier. I get I get the relationship. I'm not saying that they remove them or something, but I don't know. As a gag? Eh. Like, we can't even do the angle of, like, he secretly enjoys it because... Wow, this would have been way better for wisdom form, wouldn't yeah. it? This is a lot of little Chainsaw guys. Man. Uh, no. You know I, 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 I really should have done wisdom form! <laughs> When it comes to writing gags, I'm someone who likes dry, like, dry jokes or, like, like sudden, like, subversions at the end. But it's hard to write a final, like, punchline for either of them. Because it can't be Maleficent saying something dryly at the end that's funny. Because that's just and your it, character. Yeah, and then it can't be Pete who does it, because he's the one you bounce off of. So, like, there's mm. nothing to work with. Well, my, 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 my thinking is, um... Like, fucking Sonic the Hedgehog movies beat us to the secretly into it assistant, you know? Yeah. By the way, I watched the second right. Sonic movie recently. It was good. It was. I still need to see it. I'm now prepared to watch the third one. Carter, it is significantly better than the first. I, I told I can't believe that, um, I can't believe I, that, you know, uh, I, I didn't get to go see it with you, Ransom, and the crew. This is so sad. You did get to see Across the Spider-Verse with me. Oh, I did. Fair. I'll have that was, I'll that, was a, that was a movie magic experience. Oh boy, was it. All Wait, three it. instances. What? Oh, did I you can't see it three believe, times? I can't believe that they ended up uh, oh, right. you know, crossing into our dimension and then breaking the projector three times. <laughs> I forgot what you guys were talking about for a second. That's so funny. Oh. Well, for the audience, uh, context on the Sonic thing, I, uh, when did I, did I do that? Carter Wait, hold on a fucking second. Film, was so. I looking at the goddamn wrong number the whole time? I, I said so. I need to I grind. Why you were, I was wondering why you were Valor. You, didn't you already grind all these to max? Yes. I was looking at the 520 and the 84. Oh my god. Audience, he forgot. That's so I've just so been funny. styling for no reason. I thought you just wanted to be Valor. I was wondering if you were talking about What's crazy That's... is I've been making the most of it the entire time. I haven't fucked up once. That's crazy. I mean, you know, he looks good in the drip, so I'm not complaining. No, yeah, it's, I mean, it's no problem. I'm so glad they put that crap in Smash. It's just funny. Uh. Ow. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I sat Carter down and forced him to watch the first Sonic movie. Yeah, I bet that he was loved awful. It. He was crying, clapping at the end. So you know, I know he was sad he didn't get to the second one in theaters. But don't worry. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be real, James. The first ten minutes of the second one had me really worried. Mm -hmm. But then, so but then Knuckles and Tails come in, and I'm like, oh wait, this is it. Just, gets it just automatically became better. It's almost like no, Sonic no, no, no. by himself is a really bad idea. It's more like they had to like, uh, um, they had to turn it into a buddy movie in the first one. Yeah, they had to shift from that to the other one. No, they couldn't just me. start it at that point. And I think they do a good job with Thomas, the dad, like having like a you know sit down with Sonic because that the movie version of Sonic is not the game version. They're developing them a different way. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I, I still think I'd enjoy those movies if he was more like his game self, just because... I think he's gonna become more like that in this third one.